So the last part of, the, of this morning session before we break for lunch are the IPv6 awards. And uh, if you attended our online meetings during the pandemic, you have heard about individual awards which are given. But finally, after three years, we are able to recognize uh, some companies. And uh, I have mentioned the, uh, the number and I, you know how the UK traffic has grown in the last few years. And really, the, the people who are pushing this number up are smaller ISPs, which is really great to see. And we also know that when the remaining big players are going to move, we are hopefully starting to catch up a little bit with France. <laughs> OK, so I would like to invite um, Ronan from Akamai to receive the award for Akamai. <laughs> I would like to. I don't know. We we'll probably just do it in a way, so so the cameras can see. We probably should have made the logo a little bit bigger, but uh, we are super happy that uh, Akamai is uh, pushing uh, content on IPv6, and uh, the network here is showing significant amount of traffic. Congratulations. <laughs> then um, John from Cambridge Fiber. <laughs> We're gonna get even nice music. Well, congratulations, John. Thank you. you should, uh, yeah, you should post for the pictures. Yes. <laughs> uh, then I've got BRSK, and that is Chris. There you go. BRSK. Chris. Okay, first time I actually hear it pronounced, so congratulations, you know. I should probably say, like, Cambridge Fiber is obvious, that's in Cambridge. Brisk is based in London here, so that's going for London. And uh, I would like to invite Matthew from Giganet. You've got him here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> First time meeting in person, congratulations. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you. And Giganen is based in Farham. So you just need to kind of put it on the map. Next time I'm gonna, I'm gonna make like a map of the UK and I just uh, put the names there so we actually know where the magic is happening. Okay, so the next one I would like to invite Sony and it's Chris from Sony. And Unfortunately, not today, but hopefully at the Enterprise IPv6 workshop. Congratulations. <laughs> at the IPv6 Enterprise workshop, hopefully we will hear from Chris about their own deployment, because if you look at the list of names, we've got a large global CDN provider and then ISPs. So it's really great to see that uh, we've got, after a long time, an enterprise which has shown uh, significantly in the IPv6 numbers. Then I would like to invite, sorry, this is not going to be alphabetical, uh, Tube, and I would like to invite Charlie. If we've got Charlie here, yeah. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> well, congratulations, much. and that's Portsmouth, right? Uh, yes, yeah. well, and Southampton. Southampton. Well, uh, Chris is, uh, sorry, Tim has got a question for you when you get, want to get to his part of Southampton. Uh, <laughs> I can't answer any questions, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then we've got TXRX from Basingstoke, and that's Tim. Okay, congratulations! Thank so great to much. see. It seems to be a South Coast uh, sort of Hampshire. Yeah, Hampshire, yeah. Hampshire, um, strong point. At the Definitely, we had few providers from other parts, but unfortunately, it's really difficult to get hold of them. Sometimes they consider my emails a spam, you know, like <laughs> you got an award, so. <laughs> Okay, and five, yeah, six million dollars coming with the award. Unfortunately, not. And uh, finally, I would like to invite Brandon from UFiber, and that's from. <laughs> Congratulations, Brandon! Great that you are coming from Cheltenham to join us. You know, and we will look forward to you talking in the afternoon session. <laughs> 
So that's companies, and um, uh, for people who are not actually familiar with this award, I probably should have said it at the beginning, kind of like going, okay, everybody knows this. But this award is actually given by the Global IPv6 Forum. Um, we are presenting these awards on behalf of this global organization. And Jim Bound was somebody who was one of the founders of the Global IPv6 Forum, and he was really working very hard to enable the world to start uh, deploying IPv6. So in his memory, Global IPv6 Forum created this award and is given to organizations which source more than 20% of their traffic on IPv6. And that is measured by those uplink statistics. I think um, on our website, the council website, we have a link to those statistics so you can actually see how uh, our different ASNs, autonomous system networks, are actually, uh, you know, how much traffic they are sending over V6 or not. In the UK, we've got quite a few companies and still large numbers are not deploying IPv6. Uh, lots of um, ASNs, I know Andre, he knows a thing or two about that. And, but So that's are the companies. And then in 2018, the IPv6 Forum decided to recognize individuals as well. And we had a few people, quite a few actually, recognized over the last two years. It's okay. It's okay. That's okay. Maybe something is telling us we should go for lunch, you know, but... Uh, I can keep talking, okay. Oh, I just need to, I need the slides, you know. <laughs> For you to see, because I see what's there, but I need you to see it. Reset in the meta world. All right, okay. So uh, Global IPv6 Forum started to recognize individuals, and in 2020 and 2021, we had uh, some people who received this award, but unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we couldn't present it to them. So we've got three out of the five people here. So you can see 2020, we had Ian, Nick, and Richard recognized as the IPv6 deployment leaders. So I would like to invite Ian and Richard to come on the stage and receive the award. Okay. Well, congratulations, Ian. We know you've been working on IPv6 for many years. Very long time. Well, Richard, also great, con great work with Sky, you know, and in ITF, I know. <laughs> and then last year, we've got Pete from Mythic Beasts. And, you know, Pete's always a very strong advocate of uh, IPv6. Uh, dual stack is rubbish, so just do V6 only. Well, wonderful that you are here with us. So, and I think that's it. Um, basically, we are catching our time, so we've got more time for lunch and for the break, and uh, you can uh, socialize together, and uh, we will look forward to the next part in the afternoon.